right. Good evening. Welcome to some Far Cry. It's late here in the Gettysburg battlefield and I'm up for a bit and I'm going to play some Far Cry. And so thanks for joining me if you join me now or later. Right, go. Where you been? Where have you been? Everywhere. Got my new phone. And how is Lord Master Raw? What's happening? Master Raw, what's happening? I'm surprised anybody's awake. I thought I'd be by myself. I'm all right, man. I'm just really tired. You guys know how that goes. I'm just really tired. I think I slept half the day. I got my dishes done. I got a bath. I got a load of laundry done. The FBI lady came by with my new phone. I haven't had a phone in six months. But I'm doing, I'm all right. I'm just tired, man. I'm just tired. I wish it would stop. You guys know how it is. When you guys work like two, three days and you hardly have any sleep, you know how it goes. Played some Star Citizen and Chivalry 2. That Chivalry 2 is really fun. Oh man, I'm sorry that you have a headache. That must suck, man. I really, I, that's the one thing, man. I'm sick, but I don't get like headaches. I don't get back aches. I'm, I feel sorry for you guys that do because when I get headaches, man, they're bad enough. But when you guys who have headaches, oh yeah. So I got a government Uncle Sam free phone. And so now, yeah. AT&T's been dicking me around with my phone for months. And that's just it. So the FBI lady, she's pulled a lot of strings and helped me out with a lot of programs. Dude, I'll tell you what, man. Doesn't that chivalry too, doesn't that remind you of like Warband, but, you know, upgraded? I mean, like multiplayer. It kind of reminds me of multiplayer um, Warband, but nicer, you know? That's cool, yeah, Junkyard Dan's hooked on that. It's nice to see you guys. I'm just tired, but I'm doing good, dude. I have more food than I know what to do with. I don't think I'm ever gonna run out of food again. Dr. Greenbuds will probably be by tomorrow if he's not on the stream right now. So he'll probably be on the stream. I went to the store today. I had a crappy pizza. It's more arcade than Mountain Blade, really? I hear ya. I'll take your word for it. <coughs> <coughs> Master Raw, did I tell you about my food stamps? Because I know I probably told Ryko 10 times. I don't know if I told you about my food stamps or not. Oh, you didn't? Dude, check this out, all right? You know I've been like so broke and poor and scraping for like three years. Okay, so I applied for food stamps. I didn't tell you this. I guess you must have missed it. So check it out, you're gonna shit. Yeah, dude, they didn't send me my cards for like three years. So all this food stamp money built up on my cards. So I, yeah, dude, I got like back pay for three years. Right, come on up, I'll buy you a lobster tail. <laughs> I'm kidding, come on up, I'll buy you a prime rub. And so I got my regular monthly food stamps, right? Check this out, my regularly, regular monthly food stamps was almost a hundred bucks a month, which is for me, that's plenty, believe it or not. Um, but the FBI lady pulled some strings and she got that doubled. 
So I got that doubled. Oh, dude, I'll never run out because the amount that I'm getting now per month, I'll never run out because I don't spend, I probably spend 150 bucks a month on groceries and that's it, maybe a hundred. I don't really buy that many groceries. Yeah, but I'm getting double that now. Plus I have all that money that's like the food stamps that's backed up. So I'll never run out. I only spend like 150 a month on groceries and that's a lot for me. I don't really buy that much groceries. But my point is, is I'll never run out. So I'm not gonna go hungry anymore. Three years ago, it was a nightmare. I was eating fucking ramen noodles every day for months. It sucked. I wouldn't put a human through what I went through. My staple foods are white vegetables, carrots, white vegetables, orange vegetables, yellow vegetables, white meat, red fish. That's about it. I only eat about five foods because I have hemochromatosis. So I don't eat green vegetables, I don't eat citrus, I don't eat mushrooms. Chicken, potatoes, carrots, corn, non-green things, non-iron things. Iron is toxic for me. It'll kill me. Yeah, lots of rice, lots of protein. Like soy, soy and soy sauce, like high sulfur, high salt is usually bad for most people. It's not, I need, yeah, oats, I eat oatmeal, but it has to be raw. Like I'm not supposed to be eating processed prepackaged foods because it's bad for my memory. <laughs> Thanks for asking. But yeah, I can eat stuff like that. It's just, I have to avoid iron period. But I don't eat a really, I can't cook a lot like I used to. It's hard, physically hard to make myself, a, yeah. <laughs> to make myself a regular meal. I have to stick with easy stuff, but I have this year I have to get away from anything that is canned, anything that is in a package, anything that is processed, anything that has preservatives, it has to go. It has to go out of my diet completely. Smoking has to end. No more cigars. So this year will be a lot of changes. A lot of changes this year. A lot of good things. A lot of good programs kicking in this year now that I have somebody. Yeah, man. I, like I told you guys about a year ago, I said a year from now, things will change for me. Things will improve. Nah. To anybody, dude, I'm telling you. What I went through was a fucking nightmare. And I went through it by myself. You know who I went through that shit with the most like the last year was you guys on Twitch because I didn't have any company. It was one of the reasons that I came on to Twitch. Right on, man. So you guys, really, you guys on Twitch have been with me the last year. I've hardly seen anybody until like since last fall. Then the FBI lady came back around because she's working, she's back in Gettysburg. And so now I have somebody who checks on me all the time, makes sure I have what I need. I'm telling you, man. It's, that's the thing though, and I know people out there in the MS community and they have it fucking 10 times worse than I do. And I'm like, holy shit, and they don't have people. And that's why the MS society and, and that those sort of programs are important. There's people that are by themselves, man. They have, they don't, they're worse off than I am big time. You know, she is, she's hilarious. She's been on cam, I made some clips, she's fun. She's my Wilson. She's my Wilson to my Tim the Tool time. You're right. You guys were fun today. I was hanging out with you guys on autos for a while. Oh yeah, she knows all about all you guys. <laughs> she knows about all you guys. Oh, she'll be here. She drops by her office. I can hit her office with a rock. So I have two people right here in my community that are here every day now. I'm in a lot better shape than I was. Once my daughter gets a car, then she'll be up a lot more. There's no transportation from DC to Gettysburg. There's like no bus, there's no train, which is surprising because they're both tourist destinations. But things like I said a year ago, I've said it a million times over the years. I've been saying it since I was a kid. Our fortunes always change make it so 
And if you can't, reach out. So now I can get back to the doctor. Soon Red Cross, Red Cross will pick up my electric bill in full for the rest of my life as long as I live at the same address because I have HFE, hemochromatosis, it's a rare blood disease. So no electricity. Soon my internet is, my internet bill is 50% now. So I can increase my internet. I can get one more tier higher on my internet. My tech guy, my cable guy who was here to help me with my internet, he's a Twitch gamer and he said I should have one more level of internet. So now that it's cheaper, I can upgrade my internet. The food stamps in that alone with my subs will allow me to get a new computer. No, dude, I'm staying right here. I love my apartment. I will not leave this community. I can't. Now that I have support system, somebody that's going to be here for me because she's retired from the FBI now and she's my landlord. And so I can't go anywhere and start over anywhere else at all. I have to be right here. My current speeds, heck man, I don't know. I can look five minutes ago and I'll forget. It's not that I'm dumber. I don't know. It's just that I forget. I don't know. I thought I had the fastest, but I guess I don't. My apartment is shit. My apartment, I failed. HUD, HUD came in here and they inspected my apartment and my apartment failed. The standards for disabled living and they should have taken me out of here and I've been trying to get help. Dude, I'm a very neat and clean person, but my apartment since I've been disabled hasn't been clean in three years. My daughter comes and helps when she can, but she's a working adult just like you, just like everybody else. And so my place gets out of hand. I can't physically clean it. You know, and so it failed. And so the FBI lady <laughs> means a disabled person shouldn't be living in here. So the FBI lady sent a house cleaner to come and clean this place. And so it passed. I have a clean house again. I'm on the third floor. I like where I love. Now, there's a one floor. There's a ground floor apartment here. I live in a community out in the battlefield that's ground floor and it's ideal, but I'm waiting for the guy to move out. He's an army recruiter, nice guy. As soon as he moves out, I'm gonna, hey, cool guy, what's up? Dude, thanks so much for the chat, Raw. As soon as, <laughs> middle of the night, this guy's trying to get me high. I'm already high. That's a long one. Holy shit, I can't breathe. Assisted leaving, I don't understand what you mean. There's a corner unit, okay? And it's got a great big oak tree, nice big shade. I can get right outside on the balcony. Where I live now, I have to deal with stairs. So I can't leave unless somebody's waiting for me. Somebody has to be with me when I go down the stairs because I could fall. Today, I can walk pretty damn good. My legs really weren't bothering me today at all. So I could get up and about, I could get some laundry done. But there's a ground floor apartment if it, when it does become available because this place is in demand. There's a waiting list for this place, for this whole community. So once this army recruiter moves on, moves on, I can move into that one bedroom apartment. Ground floor. It's got a decent view of, of Willoughby Run, but I have a big tree, I have a yard, I can get in and out. And if I'm on the ground floor, I can get a dog. What's going on? I'm sitting here on Twitch. I'm broadcasting. I'm live streaming. I'm freaking out. Yes, soon. You see, I can't even afford copays, dude. I've been to the doctor once in three years because I can't afford it. I just went to the doctor in December. It was a hundred bucks out of pocket, but now all that's changed. Now I've got programs to help me. So now, and cool guy, good to see ya. Dude, yeah, it's only 10.30 there, 9.30 out there you know what I heard on TV you know what I heard on TV do you know what I heard on TV today cool guy everybody has a little bit of Nebraska in them <laughs> yeah I'll be getting that dude the thing is is physical therapy is one thing it's just that wearing socks hurts my legs it's all it's mental it's in my brain 
And so the more I use my legs, the more I lose my legs. The more I use my legs, the more in pain, the more I'm going to pay for it tomorrow. You know, that's what sucks is that you think that because I'd love to go to the gym. I used to go to the gym every day. Now, if I go to the gym, dude, I'll be in bed tomorrow. It sucks. Stole our coach. <laughs> cool guy's a racer. Cool guy plays Wreckfest. He plays um, NASCAR. And Master Raw plays all kinds of good stuff. Check out Master Raw sometime, cool guy. You'll like his show. You'll like his broadcast. Glorious TV. Yes, walking dude for 20 minutes. Let me see, because see, I used to weigh 300 pounds. I lost it all. Walking for 20 minutes, I think you burn, I can't remember how many calories, but just walking 20 minutes, you burn a lot. Yeah, so things would be improving. By the end of the year, all my program, probably by the end of the summer, all my programs will be in place. Master Raw, my rent's getting cut in half. My rent's gonna get cut in half. Gettysburg's expensive to live in. People retire here from DC. It's, you know, Pennsylvania. Gettysburg is a desirable place to live and I'm getting my rent cut in half. I don't have to move to Cucamonga. Yeah, I know, I know, man. I'm just, you know, I'm, it's like being in freaking, uh, what was it, Devil's Island for three years, and then all of a sudden you get dropped off in you know Waikiki Beach and there's bikinis everywhere. It's like, so thanks for listening, man. I'm glad, I'm glad I could share because you've been hanging out, we've been hanging out since I got on Twitch. And so you've heard my whole story and I'm so glad. And it's one of the reasons that I'm here is that so people see my story, see what happened to me. I wish you guys would have known me before I got sick and then see how I can overcome these hurdles. And we are, but man, what's the, you know, I'm not telling you anything you don't already know, but what's the real lesson here? Somebody comes after me, goes through the same shit that I'm going through. I can, I'm better equipped to help them, that person. I can't play rec fest now because steam, why not? It won't let me open. And when I go to a race, it crashes mountain time. Right on, so you're out west. I know you're part of the state, dude. You got some nice rocks out there in the ground. When you get closer to the Rocky Mountains, it's so cool. When you're out in western Nebraska and western Kansas, you know when you're getting closer to the Rockies because the rocks start to pick up. It's such a nice sight for hundreds of miles. Boy, I'd sure like to get back out west. Hell yeah, man. Dude, I'll tell you what. Master Raw, while I'm thinking of it because you were on my mind, maybe a GPU or Windows update that works. Probably Windows update. Man, I'm terrified of Windows updates. You never know when it's going to screw one of your games. Oh, dude, welcome to my cave. Welcome to my cave. I just made the scene. Dude, Far Cry, it's a trip. Master Raw, have you played Far Cry? And dude, what, before I forget, before I forget, before I go off 50 first dates on you, Master Raw, if you come across, because I trust your judgment and I know you know your shit, and it's my memory and concentration these days, dude, I'm gonna miss stuff, but if you come across a decent PC for me, could you send me some links? I know you're a busy guy, but if you are thinking of it sometime, shoot me a link sometime, I'd appreciate it. Dude, I was wondering, man, and thanks so much, because I figured you'd probably played Far Cry, because you played a lot, you've played a lot more games than I have. Because I stick with the game for like five, ten years, and that's all I play. Dude, I'd appreciate it. I yelled out to Warband, too. Warband sent me one link, and I told him, hey, bud, you know, if you can send me some links. Because I could probably, when I'm looking at a swing in like 100 bucks a month, you know, for maybe a year or two, get it paid off quick, quicker if I can. Really. Because I, wa I would like to be able to buy the last computer I'm going to buy because I've probably got 10 years left. Or I'm going to outlive all you guys. No shit. I know where you live. Right on. It's nice out there. Phones keep switching on the time zones. What's your speed limit out there, cool guy? 
Cool guy runs track and field in high school. Stay healthy, buddy. You can, and here's the deal though. This is the George Burns moment, right? Everybody like, you know, cigarettes causes cancer and cancer is horrible. But that guy smoked cigars till he was what, 103? Okay, so even though you're gonna do all that track and field, okay? Because five years ago, six, seven years ago, I had six pack abs, all right? I could run 12 miles. Stay healthy and healthy and healthy, but if something like MS comes for you, be prepared because you could be as healthy as a horse. This is what my doctor told me. You can be as healthy as a horse, but you're sick as a dog. You're so healthy, you don't even know you're sick. Dude, right on. You ain't shitting, man. 1986. 1986. I'm at the Art Institute of Chicago. I'm at the dorms at the Herman Crown Center, right next to the, the same building where you see untouchables and shit, right? They're coming down the stairs. My neighbor, Richard Beers, he's a film student over Columbia. He goes, hey man, he goes, have you ever seen Highlander? I said, nah, what's that Highlander? And so he goes, oh man, come on, I got some popcorn and shit, right? We could drink some root beers. He went over to the media room and he got real to, he got the old real to real players. That's what we had back in the eighties, right? We were just getting VCRs. He got the old real to real, but he had Highlander on like an eight millimeter. And so the first time I got to see Highlander was on a dorm room wall, like cinder blocks, dorm room wall with the eight millimeter. And I was fucking thrilled. Princes of the universe, man. Dude, you're a big Aliens fan, man. I was tuning into your stream. You were talking all about Aliens, man. You know all about the lore and stuff. Dude, 86, I moved to Chicago. Right on. Yeah, I was, and the thing is, it didn't really strike me because at our media center, at the Art Institute, we had every film you could think of. And so we could go check out Jaws. We check out Jaws. We check out, uh, what's that film dude with the African Bushman with the Coca-Cola bottle, The Gods Must Be Crazy? We checked them out of the media center. The Art Institute had everything. They had Close Encounters, right? And so we'd watch it on our dorm walls. Yeah, that's what you were saying, man. I didn't even know there was, like, I think you were talking about different splinter stories and stuff like that. Dude, I'd love to see you play some alien games and stuff and hear what you have to say. Top Gun was kick-ass. Dude, what the heck was that movie with Tom Cruise? I always forget the name of it. He's dancing around in his underwear with the socks on, with the sunglasses on. I can't see, it's MS, dude. I can't remember the name of that film. Heroes and Character Development, right on. Dude, Alien fucking freaked me out. Holy shit, man, when that Risky Business, yeah. That was it. I always forget the name of that film. Dude, Alien, I'm telling you what, man. Alien, you guys, how old were we when we first saw Alien? I must have been like 10 years old. That scared the shit out of me. I was going to going home, going through the hallways to go to bed, and I'm like looking up in the ceiling and shit. Like there's the freaking alien gonna get me out. So like shit. Oh yeah, the old Porsches were awesome, man. I'll tell you what, man, we kicked out some good movies in the 80s. I just watched all the Mad Max and stuff, the old ones, right? Thunderdome, Tina Turner baby she still loves me she still sends me birthday cards with lipstick on it tina turner yeah man the 80s was good 80s was so good i always confuse the 70s with the 80s though it's kind of a blur you guys are a riot to chat with master rawl thanks for being such a good conversationalist right on you guys inspire the chat super Awesome, awesome. I'm baked. <laughs> Did you really, dude? Those movies scare the shit out of me, dude. The freaking alien scares the shit out of me. People used to ask me because of hemochromatosis, right? One thing I don't talk about that much is that my liver's under pain all the time. I have cirrhosis from too much iron. The iron has scarred my liver since birth, and so it hurts all the time, but whatever, I ignore it. And so people ask me to like, what does that feel like? And I always explain to him, I was like the liver cirrhosis from hemochromatosis feels like the alien creature trying to get out of your body. <laughs> like, really? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Tina's awesome. 
Dude, I, I had seen that film in so long. I just watched Thunderdome, I think yesterday or today. I can't remember. Narcolepsy's been kicking my ass. I've been in bed a lot, and I'm still tired. But I'm in good shape. Emotionally, I'm in good shape. You know why? Good conversation. Good conversation is the best medicine up here in the treehouse. No shit. Yeah, I wonder what that is. Dude, by the way, don't take offense that I deleted that post on my Discord because I will not promote or convey anything that Jack, and, uh, Jackson Crawford has to convey. I, I wouldn't believe anything that he has to say, Jackson Crawford. He went to the University of Colorado in North Studies and most of the stuff that he conveys is guesswork. Um, Jackson Crawford and there was a Saxon scholar and his claimed Norse. I'd love to have a sit down with him. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I, I, I enjoy what he's had to say and what he writes, but it's his own translation and he conveys it like fact and all he's speaking is conjecture. So I'm not a big fan of his. And the thing is, is here's the reason why. The main reason why is, is a religious reason. Anybody who's involved in real Norse studies, and th there isn't anybody that I've met that practices my brand of Norse paganism at all. That goofy family shit or whatever that weirdo was talking about. I mean, my religion's more cultural, but I'm a generation that has really dug deep into what it was really all about. And I was taught by people older than me. And so one of our inherent core values and rules in our religion is that if I were to ask you, what's your religion? And you tell me, well, I don't feel comfortable sharing that with you. That's an immediate red strike and red flag. And I mean, that's a cultural thing. That's the way people are in the cornfields. And what that means is, is if that person's not willing to share with me what his religion is, there's nothing else that he can say that I am to believe. That person's invisible now like a puff of smoke. That's the best I can explain it. And so that's a person, Jackson Crawford, who's unwilling to share his religion, but I know he's Mormon, I can tell. And so anybody who subscribes to what he's conveying and practicing it, is putting their faith in somebody who's not being honest or transparent about their own religion. And that absolutely goes against what it is that we believe. It's kind of like a Jew getting their Jewish religion from a, a Muslim. Okay, this is a guy who won't, can, he won't speak about his own religion. And there's people that claim they're practicing my religion, but they're buying into what he's saying as if it's doctrine. And the guy doesn't even practice our religion. I wouldn't get my religion from a rabbi or a shaman or you see what I'm saying? So that's why I don't convey anything he has to say. I have a lot of friends who are Mormon and I can tell he is and there's nothing wrong with that. But in my religion, we have a problem with people not being transparent when asked. If you were to go to my hometown and people would ask you, what's your name? And you say, I can't tell you. Well, then you would immediately disappear. They wouldn't look you in the eye. Have you ever seen the film um, 13th Warrior when the king dies and then a ship comes up and there's a little blonde boy and the 13 warriors, they're all staring each other down and they say that he's letting us decide if he's real or not. And that's where that comes from because that's real. That really happened. And that's the way we see things. So this is a guy who over and over and over again is preaching this ancient Norse doctrine. There's people believing it and practicing it like a religion, but he doesn't practice it himself. And a lot of his stories are very suspect. And that's just my own, my own assessment. So what's shaking? Oh yeah. What Ibn Fadlan. And that was called, what was it called? It was called like, um, it was his journal, his diary, but the Crichton book was called, um, what was it called, man? It was called like uh, The Flesh Eaters or something. Gosh, that's such a wild flick. I love that movie. Dude, Brit, Big Hogs, what's shaking, buddy? I'm gonna get in, you guys, I just started. Dude, that's such an awesome flick, man. I love 13th Warrior, I own that. 
Dude, right out. You see? That's what I'm talking about. Master Raw, there's a good example right there. Master Raw says, I get my religion from sci-fi movies. See how easy that was? But Jackson Crawford refuses to do that. That's why he can't be believed. If you're a pagan, you can't believe what he has to say because he's unwilling to be honest. <laughs> Dude, good to see you guys. Thanks for the smiles. I'm trying, you guys. Guys, you're going to be bored. This is going to be boring. This is my chill out freaking cruise around the world game. And so I'm collecting wood and I'm collecting slate, flint, reeds. I'm making a bow. We killed a mammoth. We killed a mammoth. <laughs> so I hope that explains things. Dude, when you think of my pagan religion, think of Paul Bunyan in the Midwest and cornfields. But the thing is, is we still get together in a big wooden freaking Viking hall. There's a big wooden Viking hall at the highest point of our county in LaSalle County. People still go to the sweat lodge. People still sacrifice rabbits and chickens to Odin. And then they go to Lutheran church on Saturday. You know what I mean? It's like Fargo. It's like grumpy old men. It's not that wacky shit you see on the internet with guys wearing makeup and shit acting like they're in the Vikings TV show. That's goofy shit. They play too many video games. I get my religion from a Thor comic book. It's all true. You guys, thanks for listening to my yammer. Holy cow, I didn't even think I'd be up this late. You guys, I'm just collecting some wood and some reeds and some bows. And so what happened is I didn't set up my fire in my cave and so it didn't save. So now I have to go around and kind of farm my wood and my rocks and stuff like that. But I could play the whole beginning scene from you guys and I'm gonna play this on easy because my brain's a marshmallow. Right on raw, rest well buddy. Please have a safe day tomorrow. Britt, good to see you, man. Big hugs. But I think I'll start out at the beginning for you guys. If, Britt, you probably have played this whole thing, haven't you? Ryko, have you played this? Cool guy, have you played this? Who's played this? I'd be surprised if you guys haven't played this twice. I've never played it. Raw, be safe, dude. Thanks for the good conversation. Don't believe any anything that Jackson Crawford has to say is a charlatan. His stories are uh, very suspect. I'm kind of like, where'd you grow up? Spending time in the Midwest? Some good stories. Sounds just like home. But he's not. He's from out in Colorado, I believe. And so, yeah, he went to the University of Colorado. He used to live right down the street. And I, no shit, was an assistant professor there for two years before why that guy was in the sixth grade. What did I help teach? It wasn't that impressive, but it sure was fun. And the women outnumbered the men three to one. Go Colorado. So you guys, let's get in and have some fun. Look, you have, right go, I had a feeling that you'd played this. This, this seems like it's right up your alley. You get caught up of the beauty of the area. My stream probably won't look that beautiful. It should be running just fine. So I've, I've, I do test videos. I test my sound and everything before I stream. Um, but when I fired up my stream about an hour ago, OBS crashed right off the bat for the first time ever. I don't think OBS has ever crashed on me. I hit start streaming, OBS crashed to desktop. It's never done that before. So everything should be cool. Let's see if we can get in and have some fun. So I got my day one video. Do you guys want to see it? Or should we just get in and experience it all over again? I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Make it that far in the game. Yeah, I figure this will probably be my chill game. I'll probably get killed 10 times and I'm going to play it on easy, but... It's a little slower pace, you know, and I don't really have any survival games and all you guys play like really cool survival games. And I have been looking 
And I have shouted out to you guys over the past year a bunch of times that I've always been looking for a Neanderthal, caveman type survival, dinosaur type thing, open world sandbox, and I've never been able to find one. And then yesterday I came upon and started looking into, and I watched a few videos on YouTube of Far Cry, and I was like, damn, that looks really good. I wish it was the Earth, though, because I don't know, maybe it is the Earth, I don't know, but it seems like maybe it's a different planet. But heck, you know what? 10,000 years ago, doggone, 10,000 years ago, who knows what we might have called this world. And I am very well versed in history all the way back to 17,000 BC. That's where we started day one in history at the Art Institute of Chicago, right? Our professors are from UIC. You start at 17,000 BC and you have to study everything about economy, politics, religion, and warfare. Those things from 17,000 BC all the way to all the way to today and how did those factors influence not only humankind but the artwork that we produced ever since ever since the very first oldest found piece of human artwork it's the very first thing that we study and you see this in this game it's the first thing i noticed was the cave paintings at Lascaux, France. So there's these two kids, true story, you might have heard, it's not an urban legend, it's a true story. These two kids were playing soccer over in Paris. Am I in the right scene? I am. Microphones on, rock and roll. And so these kids kicked this soccer ball down into this tree stump. It went down in this tree stump, they lost their ball. So the kid goes down to, this is day one, Art Institute Chicago. Professor Bob Lesher, who was the professor in the Indiana Jones films is who this professor was based on, okay? And Bob Lesher was also the historical content advisor for the Indiana Jones films and shitloads of documentaries. So Bob's teaching this class. He's telling the story. The soccer ball goes down in the tree stump. The kid goes after it. The kid falls like 12 feet, right? The kid's down there. Holy shit. The other kid goes and gets help. Bunch of people come to help the kid get out. The rescue guys get down in there. They turn their flashlights on. What do they find? the oldest cave paintings ever found, 17,000 years old, drawings of deer and mammoths and all kinds of stuff. You guys have seen the image on, on TV a million times. And so that's the story about the oldest piece of artwork, cave paintings, Lascaux, France, two kids and a soccer ball. Rock and roll. And so who knows what we may have called this world back then, Oros? Who knows, all I can remember is a great big Jethro bowl full of Cheerios watching Land of the Lost when I was five years old. Now those are some creepy freaking dinosaurs. Rock and roll, day one. Day one, day one, day one. I guess that's a request that shall be honored. Yeah, because it's fun. I got killed twice by the mammoths. I got stomped to death, but then we did pretty good. Right. This is going to be fun. I hope everything goes as planned. Everything should be groovy. Where's my icons? Let's go, go, go. All right. So I hope it's not too. Uh... What'd you get, Brett? Quite nice. I got some new. What did you type? Poop? Crack? Crack and dragon butt? Crack and dragon butt. Warning. 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 Oh, shit. It's really loud. Holy hell. Oh, dude. I got to send you some. I'm going to send you some. What do you want me to send you? I already know what I'm going to... I'm going to send you something, and I already know what that is. But is there any American tobacco that I can send over there legally that won't kill all your corn? Dude, this is cool. I've been looking for a game just like this for, gosh, guys, decades. For like 20 years, I've been looking for like a caveman type game type survival type game. And I just have never found it. I even shouted out to you guys. And you guys all play a lot more games than I do. You guys must play two, three times the number of games. You guys are playing different games all the time. I play ah, two, three games a decade. Love the music. I gotta turn my headphones down.
All right, dudes. Right on. So Raiko wants to start all over again. Day one. Yep, normal. I'm going to play it easy. Easy breezy. That's what my uncle used to say to me. Easy breezy. Cool beans, you guys. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Dude, we're going to try to bring back... We, the human beings of planet Earth, are going to try to bring back the Aurochs. Can you believe it? These, these hey, genetic... That totally freaked me out. Oh, no, dude. I'm sending you a care package, Brett. I don't forget. Some things I don't forget. Dude, go smoke a cig. Oh, so you know what audiobook we're going to do, right? You know what audiobook we're going to do with this? We're going to do Bernard Cornwell's Stonehenge. I've only started it. I've never read the whole book. I've gotten through part of the first chapter. And now I'll shut up. Dude, I got the audiobook. I can send it to you. It's a little old, but it still sounds really good. I mean, the narration. We Look at this. I love it. I love it. We need a dinosaur mod. Put dinosaurs in here. Brett, I got my phone. Full of life, a home for vengeance. But danger come. Udam. Udam, flesh eating warriors. Isila. Isila, masters of fire. Yeah, FBI lady dropped off my phone today. I have to somehow get a hold of Twitch though and change my phone number. I won't be able to log in. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So for some reason, I cannot get on Twitch for a while because of a phone number change. I'll be streaming on Facebook. And Britt, you're on my Facebook. And McCater's on my Facebook. I have coffee and I stream on my Facebook lots of times in the morning. I'll just turn my cam on for an hour and chat with my friends. People I miss, I'll probably never see again. Scattered to the four winds over the years. My friends are so far away. Look at this, guys. Isn't this awesome? Look at this. Look at the saturation. I need to turn the saturation down. This is really, really red. And I'll deal with it, whatever. And so we'll just keep on. But maybe tomorrow I'll tweak the saturation a little bit because we'll get in and it'll be like really, really red. What's shaking? Check them out. Where'd you get those blue eyes, homie? You got them from Frey, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Right, guys, let's go, go, go. We're gonna die. Let's get down. I already set up all my controls and I already went through my graphics and everything. And I've already done this scene. I've done this scene three times. I got killed twice. I wish my field of view is bigger. I'm probably gonna die. We're probably gonna die. I'm a flight of us. I've been looking for a game like this for like 20 years. I didn't even know this existed. All right, buddy, let's go. Check out, check him out. All right, all right. 
Now we gotta stick with them. If we get too far away from them, the freaking mammoths will charge us and shit. We can't lose our guy. That freaking mammoth's gonna take a big shit right on us. Yeah, we gotta stick with our guy here. Freaking mammoth will get us. So we're gonna hunt that little one. Yeah. Yep. When he runs, we gotta run. Shit. I hope the frames are alright, guys. It's like 120 FPS for me. Yeah, so we gotta help kill this mammoth so we can eat. We're all starving. This fucker will kill me with one freaking charge. Did he take off? Did he? Did he run? He did. He probably ran. Yep, there he is. Dude, I got killed twice doing that. I got stomped and shit. Look at these guys, they look awesome. Cool dreads, bro. I'll move my cam down to the bottom. Check it out. You see how it's really, really sepia and it's red, but off in the distance, the mountains look real good. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, good kitty. Good kitty. Good kitty. Good kitty. Good kitty. Good kitty shit, kitty shit, kitty shit, kitty shit, kitty shit, kitty shit. Oh shit, shit. We are not in control. This is a cutscene. Yeah, we can't attack him. We are Takar. We are Takar. Oh shit, look at his eyes, man. He's freaking me out. Oh shit, burgers. Dude, look at this. This look awesome. Thanks for joining me, guys. Cool, very cool. Boy, I got a lot to learn. A lot to learn. So we did it. The first time, man, the big freaking mama mammoth, man, she just stomped me to pieces. Man, look at our pals dying. He's got some serious shrapnel right in his liver. Hey, man, they got those at that dead show. Find the land of Oros. Find our lost Venja brothers. Man, the graphics look so good. This game's from 2016. I wish I had more juice to play it. Soon. Right. So I don't think there's any magic or anything in this, right? But there, I guess there's like an owl that can carry us around. I thought that was a little different. Because I was looking for something really primal. I don't want no magic or anything in here. Some good shamanism be good. So, time to farm. Which is alright, so we need a bow. So I can hit control. So our, I'm guessing that our little band of colors down at the bottom by our map, our map's on the left, below that is our health. And so I can hit control to heal... I guess we must have rubbed some herbs on our skin or something. And so what we need to do is collect. You guys are all very familiar with these systems. 
I haven't used crafting in maybe one or two video games ever in 30 years. And I'm actually trying to find that old gem too. You guys will really trip on it. Um, but crafting and stuff is something that I don't play in a lot of my games. And you guys are really familiar with that stuff. So it's going to be really fun. And so, right. And so I'm already a little familiar with it because I played a little bit. So I did a lot of this already. Okay. And then I saved and exited to desktop to set up my scenes for the streams. But the save kicks me right back out here because I've already crafted all this stuff and everything. And I've become pretty familiar with the, um, the menu. So you guys know the drill. So for me, for me and my shit I got going on, this is a pretty chill game. I can cruise around the world because if I didn't have MS, this is where I'd be anyway, man. I'd be up in the Appalachians. I'd be hanging out. Hell yeah. Take you guys with me now. I got this phone. We're going to be streaming live from wherever, whenever. We're going to take my wheelchair on the bus. We're going to go downtown Gettysburg on the square. And we're going to make all kinds of friends. You see, that's trippy. So we need to get s alderwood, reeds, slate, and there's tons of it. I'm going to farm the shit out of this place. And so this will take me a while, so it'll be fun. You guys know the drill. I was hanging out with Junkyard Dan most of the day, on and off, when I wasn't passed out or doing chores. And he's playing a game that's very cool, and it's very much just like this, but it's during the medieval, it's during the, the Middle Ages. And it's great. And he's like building a village and a house, and he's like hiring people, and he's like the lord of his own manor. And it's probably in, you know, the 14 or 1500s, maybe 1300s. And it's cool. And it's just like this. And it's great. And I was looking for something caveman, right? So let's get some more wood and stuff and make some bows. And then we're going to go hunting. And then we're going to have to get our cave. And so what we're trying to do here is going to get our stuff. We're going to go hunting. We're going to get some food. We're going to start building up some supplies. We're going to start a fire. We're going to get our cave. And our cave is our spawn point, apparently. And I haven't been that far. This is as far as I've been, is grabbing my stuff. And here's our pal's grave. And it doesn't look like we can do anything. And he didn't leave any of his weapons around. I'm wondering if maybe some of the stuff fell. My screen, I wish the field of view was wider and we could see more. We need more. I, I need to figure something out where this can be really widescreen. I want to have a really wide point of view in this. The point of view just seems like it's a little, uh, a little too tight. I wish we could see wider. Some more alder wood. Yeah, we need to get a weapon. Now, one other thing, if anybody knows, that I'm trying to figure out is once I make my bow... I always have my bow in my hand, and it's kind of weird. Um, I guess you always have to be ready, but if I don't really need my bow, I'd kind of like to holster it, like in Warband, so I can just cruise around with my Ricky Bobby not knowing what to do with my hands, right? So I don't know. I don't know how to holster the bow. And so I'm going to grab as much of this wood as I can. The, um, the button assignments on the keyboard I thought were a little strange. Um, for pack, I don't know why they didn't just use P. Um, for inventory, I. Um, yeah, they used like really weird combinations like um, village to go home. You'd think you'd use V for village. I thought it would be kind of obvious, but it's not. It's kind of backwards. And so I'll probably change that. Um, that was one, one assessment, one observation I thought was a little strange was the keys that they assigned to some letters that think of easier choices. So the reeds right on, these are great. You guys ever shellac these and put them in a corner in a vase? Pretty cool. Awesome. And so slate, slate, reeds, reeds. We need more reeds. We're gonna try to grab everything that we can. Yep, and so we have our hunter vision. And so our skills and stuff, right? So crafting. And if you guys have seen this, right on. If you haven't seen it, welcome. Cool. 
And I'm still learning. Craft a bow. Press I to open the menu. Crafting. Bow available. You haven't learned how to build the bow yet. The bow is a balanced and versatile long range weapon with great accuracy. So to learn to build the bow, um, yeah. So to learn to build the bow, all we have to do is click a weapon. I don't know, that's, or I mean, click an icon, not a weapon, click the icon. So I guess that's how you learn to build a bow is simply by clicking the icon. I thought there'd be a little more involved, but that's all right. We got lots of items. And so these people, these heroes here are different companions, apparently, that we can meet in different parts of the world that will teach us different skills. And they look just trippy. They look so cool. You can't holster weapons unless in village settings. Medieval Dynasty. Yeah. Yeah, Junkyard Dan was playing that. That's pretty cool. Warlord number. Owl spots. I have to call Twitch and tell them who I am and tell them that they have permission to change my number. I don't know. What if they tell me I can't, that I have to log in with my old number and that's impossible. I won't be on Twitch anymore. So arrows, arrows. So yeah, we crafted our bow. Awesome. So I'm a little worried about that. Changing my phone number. What skills do we got? We got primitive takedowns. Press F for a quick and silent kill. Approach an enemy from behind or by cover. We can drag the body out of sight once we grab F. So I'm assuming we can drop the body also by hitting F. So I guess we'll have to find out. Zero out of 1,500 experience points. What else do we got? Hunter vision. Hunter vision is all right. Hunter vision is cool. Primitive stealth. Press T to throw a rock. You see, that's a little weird. Like, I should just be able to select the rock in my weapons and then just hit my left mouse button to throw it instead of hitting T to throw a rock. That's a little strange. Press shift to sprint and then four to slide. Four to slide would be my crouch. So running with shift and then crouch, I can slide like you're sliding into first base in baseball. Crafting, we did our bow. Our map, we're kind of in the middle of here, in the middle of nowhere. Our skills, we just looked at our skills. We have a lot of skills to unlock. So, uh, our pack, what do we have? Thieves. Junkyard oh, Dan, the man. Color. I was just talking about, mmm, rocks. Oh, heck. Thanks. Junkyard. Oh, right on, dude. Britt, thanks for that gift to him, man. Junkyard Dan, and man. Now, hey, Rocky, watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. And now it's time for another special feature. Thanks, brother. Thanks for the raid and thanks for the host. Dude, I love that game you were playing. I was just talking about you, talking about that game you were playing. Hey, you guys. Did you hear the thunder? Awesome. Dude. I love that game you're playing. Britt has that game too. And so I'm playing, yeah, hey, what's happening, Mark? Singing West Sider, 50 subs. Britt, thank you. Thank you guys, all you subs. Helped by my new controller this month. I needed one. I have an invisible cat biting my leg. So, Dan, West Sider, you thank you for that sub. Thank you, Mark. Dan, thanks color. for singing, thanks for singing Truckin' on Friday. That was awesome. Dude, I love your game. I've been hanging out watching your game on and off all day. It's bitching. And so I'm kind of playing something similar. And you got to be really tired, bro. So if you bow out and you got to go to sleep, I understand. I'll see you tomorrow playing your game. I was playing my game right here when you were playing your game on my other screen. And then I was hanging out with Otto and Master Rawl on their stream. Dude, that's a cool game. Isn't that a nice pace? Dude, Junkyard Dan. Yeah, I know you're going to bed, but check it out. I was saying earlier when I was cruising around my house and I'm a headphones on and the, the rain and the storms and the sound in your game, I had to look outside. Just, I thought it was raining outside. Oh, you gifted another sub right on. Thank you, Britt. I always miss that. 
the gifts. Thank you. Yeah, the sounds in that are so realistic. And that medieval dynasty, man. I thought it was really raining outside. I heard thunder. I was like, oh, the storms are here. Cool. So bitching, you guys. Dan, rest well. And I hope your back's feeling good. I could smell the bacon already. So you guys, are we crafting? I'll be up for a little while longer. See what we can do. We have to get for, we have to get to the cave. We have to get to the cave. So what do we got? We got some animal fat. We have none. We have no animal fat. We've got eight hardwoods. We got two flints. What else we got? We got a little bit of food. We're going to run out of food. We got one hunk of meat. So let's collect some more stuff. What else we got? So village resources, just like Dan is doing in his medieval dynasty, we can have our cave, we can start building a little village, we can have people in our village. The games are really similar, like from what I'm seeing, and that's cool, man. Totally different time periods. So neat. The slate, we got some reeds, we picked up some rare reeds. We haven't collected any animal skins, but we're gonna. And the help is really great, man. I wish more video games would do this, right? Just like Warband, when you're playing Warband and how you have all of your notes, right? This is great. This is such a really nice manual. I'm impressed. This is cool. I mean, it's like a comic book. It's great. Look at this. This is bitching. This is so neat. Right on. So we're going to have our village, man. We're going to have freaking, we're going to have a death fence. We're going to have a skull fence all the way around. Protect us from the evil spirits, right? Awesome, you guys, look at this. You guys want to go hunting? Hell yeah. I want a turtle shell helmet. Cool, you guys, we're going to have fun. I have been looking for a game like this, no shit, for <laughs> decades. Decades. Neanderthal, caveman, survival, hell yeah. Open world, right on. Now, there still is kind of a quest to this and stuff. All right, we made the bow, baby. We're going hunting. You guys ever eat goat? You guys ever eat goat? Goat is kind of kind of textury, like uh, it's almost like uh, it's like a rough roast beef. But you guys know how goat milk tastes, or like a wet dog smells, or like a goat a wet goat smells. That's what the goat meat tastes like. The goat meat tastes like goat meat tastes like. goat milk smells i hope that makes sense so v for our hunter vision we got to be dude i was hunting these freaking goats and i walked right up on these goats and they were sitting right there taking a poop and they didn't even notice me and as soon as they noticed me they pooped some more and they took off running like freaking speedy gonzalez i didn't even they were so well camouflaged i bumped right into them awesome so our crouch button, awesome. Super, super. So we got our bow. Let's check our arrows, right? So we have our weapon wheel. And so we have eight arrows. And this is where we craft our arrows. I guess this is our weapon wheel. So if we have the materials in our pack, if we have our slate and we have our sticks in our pack, we can click this and it builds our arrows for us it makes our creates our arrows so i guess we whittle really quick right right on and so our hunter vision the hunter vision and i'm playing on easy the hunter vision is going to show us where all the goodies are right so that's fine and dandy this is really saturated and i'm gonna have to turn it down you guys see how orange it is and it's really bright and it's really orange. So I'm gonna probably have to turn the saturation down in my video card because there's no saturation or anisotropic filter settings or anything like that. Um, and the graphic settings in this, the graphic settings in this are really basic. There's nothing like, you know, detailed like MSAA or FXAA or anything, but this is great. So we got some goats cruising around. And so we got to go get the hungries going on. We got some more reeds, right? We gotta grab as much goody, goody goodies as we can get. Nice. For some more arrows. So you see, for me, 
for me, doing this and chilling and cruising around and making my stuff and going hunting goats and exploring this cool world, I guess as I get a little older and a little sicker, it's just my pace. I'm digging it. I've been wanting a game like this for a long time, exploration and stuff. And I saw that with Junkyard Dan, what he was doing with the medieval game. And I was like, man, that's really cool. And I'm so, I'm glad that I could find something that was, uh, you know, caveman. Right, Ringo Starr, baby. Atuk Aluna Alanda. You guys remember that caveman with uh, Barbara Bach and Ringo Starr? Did you learn the language? Because they didn't speak any English in there. Sulu did. We're gonna roll right up on one of these goats you watch. Now I got infinite hunter vision turned on so I can just leave it on. We got all kinds of wooden stuff that we need to get. I'm gonna farm out this whole area and I'm curious if it grows back. We probably have some goats down there, right? Can we get this? Nice, this would be a nice chill game for me. Holy hell. I hope the FPS ain't too bad, guys. Meh. Meh. Oh, we're going caving all night long. Where's those goats? We're gonna get some goats. We're gonna eat some food. I really like this UI. I love the map. I wasn't really sure what some of the stuff was. Like the, the green bar, our health bar down there, I kinda had to figure that out. I was looking around the menus and everything like that, and it really there was nothing that was indicative to tell me what is this stuff on the HUD. The orange diamond up in the left, I'll see that in markers around the world, and I'm kind of like, can I click on that? Do I hit a button to interact with that? We'll figure it out. Because discovery doesn't have to be a solitary occupation. You see the goat? Discovery is a solitary occupation. That's Bernard Cornwall. Sam, you better crouch. Oh, man. Yep, they're down there. You see him? You see him? There's another one right there. Did I get him? Did I get him? Now we gotta hit R, R to cancel the arrow. That's a little annoying. So. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of it. You know what I mean? I mean, I like if I let off, if I let off on the bow, if I'm aiming and I let off, it should just ease off, but it doesn't. It. It'll just shoot the arrow. I have to hit R in order to retract it it's i don't know that's a little weird well i guess you know it's, we're so used to warband if you don't want to shoot the arrow you just you know ease off on your button you can't do that in this i'm kind of stuck like this so we're creeping around this crazy world right and so we have the crazy goat blood everybody knows that goat blood is yellow so where'd the goat go he's got to be like right here did he get away he went this way. Oh, we got him. And we can pick up our arrow. And we can skin the goat. Skin the goat, baby. And so we skin the goat, and then that will tell us that we got two meats, we got a goat skin, and we got some animal fat. And now we should be able, I think if we hit Y, we can set our arrows on fire. So this is it. This is it, guys. It's 10,000 freaking BC. And there was one stone circle to rule them all. No shit. 10,000 BC. Where was that first stone circle erected? The very first one. How'd we get there? How'd we erect it? 10,000 BC. Up in a little island in the North Sea. Who the hell got there? Who the hell put that up there? The Ring of Brogar. Yeah, so I'm going to bust out. Um, when I start getting more familiar with this, I will bust out some uh, Bernard Cornwell's audio book, Stonehenge. It sounded pretty good. 
I'm listening to, uh, pardon me, I'm listening to um, Warlord, finishing it, the audiobook, it's phenomenal. And then we will listen to Uhtred all over again, all 13 books for the third time. It's my favorite book series, no shit. Saga of Uhtred. Yep, I even like it more than Tolkien. This has got to be my most enjoyed books in my life. Cornwall does such a good job. The TV shows are, are, are great. They're okay. The books are phenomenal. The television show doesn't even scratch the surface. So, how about that flick, you guys? You guys ever see that flick, 10,000 B.C.? You see him creeping around over there? Did I get him? I don't think I did. Now, one thing that I'm still curious about and I'm assuming that it is going to transpire as, is night going to fall? I'm assuming that time is going to progress and nighttime is going to happen. Because what I was reading was nighttime is very dangerous. As soon as I get the saturation under control, I, I'm not gonna wanna use that, uh, this hunter vision. But to get the animals I am. And I need to track that, follow that blood trail. Let's follow the blood trail. We got him. Collect our arrow. Skin the goat. We got three meats, goat skin. So that's weird. You'd think the goat would disappear. If we took the skin and we took the meat, the goat should disappear. So we got two goats. Our quest right now, our um, our task, our task is that we need to hunt three goats. I'm looking at all this jazz up here. I don't think I've seen this before up in here. It looks like there's some graffiti on that rock. I want to go check it out. It's not. It's just lichens on the rock. This is also very interesting. It really is. So neat. And so I will learn as we go. So we got three animal fats. Two bones. Six foods. We need eight. Why do we need eight? I guess that means that's full in our pack. I'll assume that that means that that's as much as we can put in our pack. What is that, a hamburger? Look at that hamburger. Yep, there's some bonds. What we got here? Rare plant root. Hmm. Interesting. I could think of better names for this stuff. Pretty cool. I bet you somebody did some really cool mods with this change the names and stuff to actual plant names. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, there we go. North Cedar. North Cedar. Black Rock. Maple. Right on. 
Kobe's blood of Oros. Who is this Oros person anyway? I'd like to have a talk with him. Goat skin. Oh, uh, Odin's gonna be pissed, man. Those two goats, they're missing their skins. Odin's goats. So right on, let's hunt. What we got? We got some goats right over there. Let's get down. So our pal who died, our buddy who died, I forget his name, it started with a D. It started with a D. You see our bracelet on our left hand? That was our friend's bracelet with the shells. So what do we got over there? Is that a rock? That's a critter. Yep, that's a critter. And so when that turns red, he's gonna go behind the rock. Are we gonna be able to get him? There he is, right down there. Did we get him? We got him. Let's see how you, good deal. Night comes, must find shelter. Well, we got our goats. I still want to collect some more stuff. Pack is full of these items. Let's find out. Pack is full of these items. Pack. Twenty-seven out of fifty. It's not full. Let's see five. Six out of 50, two out of 10. Pack is full of these items, it's not full. Why did it say that? We've got eight food, so that's full. We've got plenty of hardwood. Flints, we could use more. Hides, we have three, we need more. Bone, we need more. See, I wonder what it was saying is full. Wood, we have enough wood. Let's see if we have all of our arrows. We do, we have eight arrows. We got three goats, we're full of wood. We still need some slate. Six out of 16. It says I can hold 50. Ah, it's telling me to go that way and that's a little N on our compass to go over and start our fire. says I can take more. I want to have plenty of wood for arrows. Because right now we're going to be using a lot of arrows. I need some kind of, I need a spear. And I think we're full of meat. I don't think we can get any more meat. We get more furs and stuff. I wish I could zoom in my vision. But then we would be Steve Austin, the six million dollar man. Um, find shelter and light a campfire. See, it's just a little weird walking around with my bow all the time, right? See how that's all shiny and flashing? Yeah, that cave's up there. It's a cave up there. We're gonna go up there and start a fire camp out for the night. And I think that is our save point, our checkpoint, where we will be spawning. 
to continue our exploration of the world and search for our lost clan in Oros. What was that? I thought I saw something there. I'm just waiting for some freaking uh, dire wolf to jump out and bite my head off. Some fucking poisonous fish in here. Nessie's gonna pop out and bite my head off. What an awesome world. Look at that. I'm just wondering how guided we are going to be. I also don't want to miss my opportunity to find any Easter eggs in here. There might be something in here that I'm not finding, you know? An herb or something. Yep, I sure hope we can go up there. Go all the way over there. Hike all through this. I hope it really is a real, real, real open world. Let's see what's up. Looks like that's a fire. Oh, I see. Man, I wouldn't have seen that without the hunter vision. I wouldn't have seen that at all. The fire. I'm still kind of wondering if there's anything I missed down in the world before I, once I hit the fire and I light the fire, that's kind of our save point. And I don't want to leave anything behind. I mean, I'm assuming I can come back out into this part of the world and keep collecting things and farming things and, you know, go back and forth. Did you hear that? Something took off. right there. I think we're full of meat though. Let's not die. Let's not die day one, right? Yeah, I have perma death turned off, so we're not gonna permanently die. But shit, check this out, man. Dude, I am back on the trail. So yeah, we got our little beacon shining right there, right? Let's, what am I looking for? Map? Cool. The car, the car. And so waypoint, we can do waypoints. Filter, let's check it out. Main mission, secondary quest, collectibles, awesome. All, yep, filter, show everything. Hunting, locations, cool. Awesome, awesome, I love this. It's just like a cave wall. Nice, I like the UI. Cool design, even the uh, you know, the font's modern, it's easy to read, and they have some rough around the edges things here, and then it works well. The layout, the design, good deal, well done. Good choice of complementary colors, cool. Cool, 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 let's go, go, go. Yep, this is also very interesting. And so bow, locked, upgrade one out of two, current damage three, upgrade rapid fire capability, requirements we have to build our cave to cars cave we are to car and we have we have to get six south stones and we have to find eight south rock dust so that we can upgrade our bow to the next bow all kinds of cool stuff man look at that blood chastity club kapala shard guts bag right on punk rock band name of the day guts bag Sting bomb. How about stink bomb? Bait. Bait. Cool beans. Look at all this stuff. Traps. Spear belt. 
Hunter Belt, Bomb Belt, Bobs. Come on, man. Wanna ride me a T-Rex? Fire bombs, cool stuff. All right. Well, I guess we'll make it to our cave. Yeah, I wanted to check. Let me in there. I'll pack real quick. Five sixteen seven 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 thirty eight. Eight two two two. How many can we take? I'm assuming that it says eight out of fifty. I'm assuming that means that we can carry fifty in our pack. We'll just have to see if we collect some if the number rises. Yep. Oh shit. Let's try not to fall and die. That's a rock. Break my ankle or something. Shit! I can feel that from here. Yeah, we're gonna get jumped by some freaking saber tooth tiger or something. King Kong's gonna come right over the rocks, right? Godzilla's gonna come out of that cave. So I wonder if there's some, I bet there's probably something we missed. See how I dragged you guys into that? Right there, see him? Skin the goat. One wood arrow, one goat skin, two animal fats, bone, animal hide, pack almost full of animal fat. Cool. Nice. You'd think he'd disappear though. Yep, we're gonna have freaking goat kebabs tonight. Yeah. There's another one. 11 o'clock, he's just sitting there. So, my goal for the evening is to do the fire. Get up into our cave. I think to climb that, yeah, we have space bar. And our hero will climb. And the fire, see how they're shiny? So we can see them. It kind of gives us a hint. Wow, pretty cool, check it out. Man, that's pathetic. That's pathetic, man, what is this? It's a little tiny baby fire. When you're driving out to camping, you're driving out to camping, right? Get the car as far as you can get the car, and then you just light the car up, right? And that's a fire. And then you have to walk the rest of the way, because we're all going off the beaten path anyway. Hardwood, 16 out of one. E. Let's see if we're gonna get attacked at night. Right. Now, do I actually have to do something here? Let's find out. Man, where's that flamethrower? I still use my flint when I'm up in the mountains. I still use a flint. Take some wooden matches with me and the hilt of my knife. All my emergency safety stuff. Hell yeah, man. Nice scene. Right on. I miss it. Miss camping. What we got? Era? We found that there in the cave. We're going to follow the tracks to Wenja and Oros. Okay. We have to make a torch. We can now craft a club. 
So we unlocked that skill in order to make a club. So what do we need for the club? You haven't learned how to build a club yet until you click the icon. And then it's just like, it's just like plugging into the matrix. Yeah, you know, you pick up a stick and you hit something with it. Always hit people bigger than you with blunt objects. In an official event. Clubs are powerful and fast attacking weapons with high durability. Throw them to stun your enemy, then rush in with a follow up attack. Right on Alderwood 40 out of 3. So we can make a club upgrade 0 out of 4. Okie dokie, so craft, hit the enter button right on. So we got a club. So we should be able to switch our weapons then. Which is a little wonky. We haven't learned any new skills. We still got four bone, eight knee, two reeds, eight, 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 eight looking good. Skins. We got four animal skins. Usage, build village huts, upgrade items in the crafting menu with the skins. Awesome. What other kinds of crazy skins we got? Feathers. Rare red bite fish skin. Rare black jaguar skin. Red elk skin. Black doll skin. Cool. Trippy. Rare white wolf skin. Awesome. So, we've got our club. Awesome. It's more like a stone axe, huh? Alright. So, he said we need a torch. Now, can I save? The game cannot be saved at the moment. Why not? Ignite your club to make a torch. We should just hit... Yeah, right? Okay. So... Okay. Last club, it says. I don't know what that means. Okay. Follow the Wenja tracks. Hold V and use your hunter vision. What is oh shit, man. I set that fucking shit on fire, didn't I? Urshazna. Guastro Dagwa. See the wolf? Climb. What are we missing? We just saw a wolf and now he's gone. There's got to be stuff we can get around here. I ain't seeing nothing in our hunter vision, though. Nope, not a... Yeah, we saw a wolf sitting there. He's gone. I guess maybe we had an opportunity to shoot him, but we were getting our freaking booty burned. Fire was burning our booty. Yeah, we saw a wolf. You see him? See, I'm hoping we can go back in there. It looks like we freaking made a mess. That must just be slate. We should be able to just go back through here, right? Man, did we burn this shit out or what? Yeah, we did. We made a mess. Yeah, there's a jag... Yeah. Clue. 
right? All right, so we need that. Yep, more slate. Well, shit, we'll carry on. Yeah, we come over this hill, that wolf was sitting there. It's an outline of a wolf. Maybe it was a jaguar or something. Yeah, I thought maybe we had an opportunity to hunt him. Or maybe it was a um, omen. I just have to say. It is E. I forgot. Um, shit. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think we have to put our torch right. Follow the wind strike B to your hunter vision. Yeah, I'm missing something like oh shit how do I grab that he just uh, did it automatically okay uh, it was a little weird what the heck So I can make two. Ah, full. I see. So I can only have two. Gotcha. Right on. So light that sucker up. Yeah, that was a little strange. It just was, uh, I don't know, it was awkward. It's a fight here, tracks went away from the fire. Grab this. I guess we can. Now they won't see me coming. Oh shit, there's plenty of wood everywhere. Palo. 
Hmm. So I can't do anything with that. They go off in two different directions. Ah, we came from that way. Man, that's some spooky shit, right? Yeah, this torch is eventually going to burn out. See how it's getting all low? I guess I can't get any more of them. Oh, we burned that shit out, didn't we? I guess we can't... Yeah, we can do that. Good. Looks like we did, but he didn't go through the animation. Whoa, these guys are chowing down, aren't they?
something different. Looks like they jumped off into the water. Looks like we're going in the water. Interesting. I'm assuming this is just for a fire. More animal fat. Looks like he climbed right there. Let's grab this kindling. I don't know what we're doing here. Interesting. All oh, right. This should be a challenge. It's a rat. Kind of wondering what this fires are for. I've been in a cave like this when I was a kid. It's creepy as fuck. I thought it was gonna fall on me. Yep, that's some claustrophobia right there. We can get some rat meat. We hit that rat. Where'd he go? Right, I guess he rolled down the cave. Yeah, he sure as shit dead. Let's go eat that rat.
Yep, our torch is gonna go out. Go for a, let's go for a swim. supposed to get up here. How is that? Guess we're going to find out. Whoa, everything went dark. Well, damn, this poor guy. Avenger woman. Tigri. She's passed. Bloxy, what's happening? Grog, you're funny. Blox, I just saw you there, buddy. Welcome. Ooh, Good evening, Block. Follow Bye. this way, Bloxy cats. Cool beans. Bloxy, you ever played this? Far Cry Primal? What are you doing, cave woman? Look at this. Land of Oros. Discover the land of Oros. Welcome, Blocks. She'll teach us skills. Wama. 
All right, more coming. I missed that real quick. It said return to our village to upgrade huts. We'll figure it out. Ada. No. Tigre Dan Shadobo. Sakwim. Walta Lauba Akista. Outside, she says. So we have to search for some green leaves. This should be a checkpoint, I hope. Yep. Why does it keep telling me I can't save? Because I need to save and quit. I do, and it's not letting me save. So we'll start back at that checkpoint. Good. We are an hour in. Bloxy, good to see ya. And so, my friends, that's going to end my broadcast for this evening. I need to get some rest. I'm not feeling well. And so I will likely see you on the morrow or very soon. You guys, thanks for kicking it. Thanks for stopping in and saying, hey, it's time for me to go. High five, you guys. Thanks for chilling. I'll be feeling better sooner, sooner than later. Thanks for the company, y'all. I'll see y'all real soon.